Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in the last video, we created our EKS cluster and we deployed uh, this game to, to it and we created the certificate and did all that fun stuff. However, uh, one of the points of having Kubernetes, all the last nights trying to figure it out, is so you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night if something goes wrong. So what we're doing today is kind of like the health checks and it's a really cool feature, uh, probably one of my top reasons why I love Kubernetes is the liveness probe. So basically when you are creating your application, you can create a health endpoint. And in this case, since I'm using an off the shelf app, it doesn't have it, but I usually have it that like it checks with our database and like .NET has an extension that allows you to create kind of like the health endpoint automatically. So like checks with, make sure that you have access to Key Vault, make sure you have access to the database and all that stuff. But in this case, I'm just doing it to a path. Um, you specify the port where that's open. Um, and then the initial delay, how long it takes to create your service. I just leave it at 10 seconds, you never know. And then uh, the period, how often it should check. So every five seconds I set it and then failure threshold. So if it fails three times, it should just restart it. Then you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night. It will restart and hopefully you'll fix the issue. So once you do that, uh, all you have to do is do a Helm upgrade. So since we already installed the Helm, uh, that's one of the cool things about Helm. It just learns what changed in your charge since the last time, and then it'll just update that. So if you just do a Helm upgrade and then the deployment name that we use and then the chart, it just deploys a new one and it will create the new instances. And if it fails, now it will do the restarts and it will do all that. So that's how you set up uh, LiveNest Pro and health checks with uh, Kubernetes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.